Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I cover nostalgic, obscure, otherwise strange content. You might remember that a few months ago I did a video based on a PSA that came out in the 80s teaching kids how to have good manners on the phone. When that telephone rings on so quickly. Oh, oh there's, a, there's a second verse. And you may remember that in that video, uh, when I was pulling up that 80s video to talk about at the beginning of the video, I'm saying the word video a lot. I accidentally pulled up the wrong thing and I pulled up something called The Dial Comes to Town, which is an instructional video from 1940, not the 40s, 1940, as in the Great Depression just ended and now we're talking about telephones, 1940. It's a video that's teaching people how to use a, I guess a rotary phone, a phone with a dial. As opposed to what? What did they use? Like the phones where you call the operator? I played Nancy Drew in the Secret of the Old Clock. I know about the 30s and 40s. Drop a nickel into the slot, please. There we go. Now how may I be of service? So anyway, I asked you guys in that video if you wanted to see a video about this, and a lot of you were interested, so that's what we're talking about today. Hi, folks. Hi, Daddy. Oh, hello, Charlie. Hi, Dad. Here's a paper if you want it, Dad. Good. I was wondering where that doggone kid was. Did the old guy just call the f paper? Did he just refer to it as that kid? That's adorable. Where's Mom, Jeannie? Starting supper. I'm going to help her as soon as I finish this algebra problem. Yeah. Women don't like math. Women like being in the kitchen all the time. These old things are so funny because I swear they thought that if they didn't mention or show a woman cooking at one point or another, they would accidentally, like, support women joining the workforce, God forbid. You know what it says here? They're gonna take out all our phones and put in them kind with dials on them. Yay! Oh, Graham, that's yummy. Does it say how soon? Oh, sure. What did he say, Graham? What did he say? I said, oh, sure. Oh, I thought he was swearing, and I was like, they didn't invent swearing yet. As soon as a man gets used to one thing, by golly, somebody wants to take it away from him. Good grass. We've had that old phone since, well, I bet since Daddy was a boy. It's so funny because a constant of the universe, as demonstrated in this video from 80 years ago, 81 years ago, is that old people will always want things to stay the way that things have been forever, and younger people will always be the ones wanting to innovate. We ought to be glad to have modern telephones. Oh, shucks. This girl, when she grows up, she's going to be like, I don't need a cell phone, I got this rotary phone. It still works great, you know? And the cycle will continue. You youngins are never satisfied these days. Folks are getting more worried about being modern than they are over the three square meals. Well, I think you can think about new technology and food at the same time. Like, you can multitask. I'm going to call up Ed Huckstetter and find out what he thinks about all this business. Yeah, see those phones. The ones that, like, were a glorified tin can phone. That's what Gramps wants to keep using. I say, is this Ed Huckstetter talking? Hang on. What did that guy say? I'm watching this back on double speed, but, but this guy's talking so fast that I genuinely can't understand him. I say, they said Fox started talking. I gotta slow it down. Well, get along close to your phone. Ain't gonna bite you, Ed. Oh, he can't hear the guy, okay. What say? Can't you hear me? <laughs> it's so, like, darkly funny. They've got two old guys that are on the phone and neither one of them can hear each other. <laughs> That's so sad. I was talking about the uh, airplane skywriting. Doing all kinds of tricks. Why are you talking about planes? I'm here to learn about phones. Gramps. By Grammy, I knew that it'd make all them eavesdroppers hang up and run outside. Oh, he was just saying that so that people get off the party line. Because back in the day, you had to like share a line with like all of your neighbors and it sounded terrible. That's actually funny. Dial telephone? Yes, I did hear something about it down at the grocery store this morning. So this was like big news. Everybody was like, you hear about that rotary phone? I don't know if rotary phones were that big of a deal or if this is just a really small town. I can see it going either way. No, I'm just wondering why they wanted to change something that still works all right. Man, I can't hear shit and we have to share this with the neighbors who are always eavesdropping on us? I don't know why they want to change it. Does my southern accent get more pronounced the more sarcastic I get? I feel like it is. I feel like it does. It does that. 
Grandpa will get used to it, Jeannie. He said the same thing when I got my new washer, remember? <laughs> yes, and he wouldn't go near it for weeks. Yes, I'm a woman, and I like to cook and do laundry, and those are the only two... Th I know that's not what they meant, but it's just... It's so old-timey. He even likes to work it now. Charlie, Jean says we're going to have dial phones put in. Both of the girls are setting the table, and the dad's just not helping at all. From what I hear, they're planning to hold some meetings around town later on. What kind of meetings, Charlie? Oh, to tell folks all about the new system, how it works and everything. Oh, there's gonna be a whole ass town meeting about the new phones? Damn. Sorry, I shouldn't be swearing. I should be using, um, old-timey words. Gee golly whiz, I can't believe they're having a town meeting. Hey, what's going on here? <laughs> you can't even talk. Where's that supper I was going to be late for? Oh, you're just in time. Why don't you help out with dinner, Grandpa? We were talking about going to a meeting, Dad. The telephone company wants to tell us all about this new dial service. Meeting tonight? All right, so the whole family's going to go to this town hall meeting where everybody learns about dial-up phones. Not dial-up. Dial-up is the internet from the 90s. Dial, like, rotary phones. It won't be long now until your no dial telephones are ready to serve you. And I know you're as glad as I am. Yeah, this guy doesn't look glad at all. New pole lines have been put up. And new cable has been pulled into place. Oh good, more ugly phone lines. A good many months ago, our engineers drew up the plans for the new equipment. It was built to these specifications in Western Electric's factories. They've got to jam in the name of the company, like the Western Electrics. That's who made this video, so they have to, like, jam in the product's placement name. Each community has its own telephone needs, and our equipment must be built to fit those needs. Not only for today, but for years to come. It is so interesting because once these rotary phones came into fashion, phones didn't really change much. For a good 40 to 50 years after that, it's really interesting, isn't it? So that there'll be no break in the community service, this must all be done in a few seconds. You can see these are mighty important seconds and mighty exciting seconds. Are they? Are they mighty exciting? And at almost the same instant, a few seconds at most, we close the connections in the dial apparatus they're trying to make this interesting. I'm very uninterested. Just tell us how to use the phone. From then on, you will have a dependable electrical operator. One that will be there 24 hours a day to handle your calls. Oh, that's right. We're, there must have been hours, right? What if you had to make a call and the operator wasn't there? Because I always just assumed that there was always an operator on call and people were just taking shifts, but that makes it sound like you were just out of luck if you tried to call at the wrong time. Instead of hearing the familiar number, please, you will hear the dial tone, which says the same thing, electrically. It's so interesting that people once in time had to be explained to about what a dial tone was. I don't think what I said was a sentence at all, but I think you know what I'm saying. Of course you've got to understand that the dial system doesn't do away with the need for human operators. Oh, so you still need operators? So like, what, did they just, so they're just hiring more operators then? Although more than half the telephones in America are dial, we have more operators than we ever had before. It has nothing to do with the new system, they're just like, we hired more operators. Okay. Better service means that people make more calls, and more calls mean more operators. God, if I was able to travel back in time, I'd love to know what being a, like a manual operator like that would be just for one day. I think I'd break down and cry because of the stress, but I would like to know what that job is like. Now, I'm sure that most of you have used a dial telephone before. Well, if everybody's used one before, why do we need to have a town hall meeting, lady? I suppose you've got a number you want to call. What's the first thing you do? Dial the number. Take up your receiver. Oh, yeah. You... You pick up the phone first, you don't just like, well, I get, like, nowadays you can just do it all by voice. You can just be like, yo, Siri, call this number. I know, I don't have an Apple phone, so I don't have to worry about waking up Siri from the dead, but you know what I mean. And listen for the dial tone. Yeah, I get it. You pick up the phone first, and then what? Here's how it sounds. Oh, what a terrible sound. They couldn't have made it sound any better. It sounds like it's begging for the sweet release of death. <laughs> it sounds like just like a an angry gargoyle. Meh. <laughs> if you don't hear the dial tone within a reasonable time, 
Hang up. Wait a few seconds and then try again. I like that part of the instructions are just like how often their machinery won't work for you. As soon as you hear the dial tone. Like I know this was a long time ago, like this was probably great new technology that was still in its early stages, but yeah, they're, like, the amount of times that they're just like, well, we still need operators. And also sometimes, you know, you want to hear a dial tone. Oh, and also you've got these ugly power lines to deal with. Buy Western Electrics. When you operate the dial, bringing it around to the finger stop, and then release it. If the first number you dial is five, a five signal is received at the central office. Yes. God, I'm not used to the sound yet. Say the next number you dial is six. Oh boy, what's gonna happen if she dials a six? The signal appears in the next column of lights as six. Oh my god, lady, I get it. When you dial a number, you dial that number. <laughs> now let's start at the very beginning and see what you do when you want to call someone. Okay, I can do it this time. The first thing you do is you pick up the receiver. First, you get the number from your new directory. Oh, what the hell? You didn't tell me about the directory, lady. Let's say the number is four, five, six, seven. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. <laughs> then pick up your telephone and listen for the dial tone. Oh my god, lady. <laughs> Here's the dial tone. Sounds like a warning signal. It sounds like, you remember back when everybody had like those customizable ringtones? I mean, I know people kind of still do, but you remember when you would download all kinds of ringtones and there was always that guy that just had like the most annoying sound humanly possible as his ringtone and it would like go off in like the grocery store and you just judge him silently. It sounds like that. The party at this number will hear a clear, evenly spaced ring it sounds like this. She's telling them what a phone ringing sounds like. I guess it, I guess, did the phones they had before not ring? Because if they already know what a ringing phone sounds like and, and she's just telling them that, that's even more patronizing than the rest of this has been. The ring will continue until the telephone is answered. Or if no one answers until you hang up. Nowadays, I feel like if you call somebody and they don't answer, people tend to take it like a personal offense. You know what I mean? Like it used to be that if you just called somebody and they didn't answer, they must've just been like busy or not home. But now everybody has their phone on them. So everybody's like, hey, why didn't you answer my phone call when I called you? Is that just me? Does anybody else know what I'm talking about? People are very hostile when you don't answer the phone. Well, nowadays, most of us just send text messages, but you know what I mean. When you raise your telephone, and listen for the dial tone, but discover someone else talking on the line, hang up and try again. I like that Grandpa just looked behind him to verify with this random woman that we don't even know if he knows. <laughs> Are you seeing this shit? Do you know what's going on? Neither do I. But no matter how often or when you call, always be sure to listen for the dial tone before you start to dial. I like how she's accusing me of something that I haven't even done yet. I'm sure if you follow these simple rules, you'll find your new dial telephones easy to operate, convenient to use, and quick in service. Thank you. Thank you, lady. I was like zoning out for a second and then she said thank you and I was like, oh God, okay, bye. That was grandpa sneaking off to use the newfangled phone that he secretly likes. Granddaughter knows exactly what's up. She's like, you can't pull one over on me, Grandpa. It's so cute. Like, they used to have, like, the chairs by the phone. I mean, like, I obviously had landline phones. Like, when I was little, we had a landline phone. But the thing about it is we never had, like, a place to sit at the phone because I... And my mom, we both have this thing where like when we're on the phone, we like to pace back and forth and obviously like landline, like you can only pace as far as the like the cord would let you go. But like, I don't know what it is. When I'm on the phone, I have to be moving. It's weird. Yes, that's the right noise. Now let me see. Oh, <laughs> he's so cute. Four, one, 
He learned how to do it! Also, phone numbers were only four numbers back then? I'm so jealous. I mean, I don't even know my own number anymore. It's just saved into my contacts, but you know. Hello? This Ed Hochstetter? Hi, <laughs> Granny is Ed. This thing isn't hard to work. Bless him. No, sir. Got the call through first time I tried. He learned. Good for him. God blame me if I don't think this darn thing is gonna work out pretty good at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's the end. That's the end of The Dial Comes to Town. I love looking at things from this far back when they're teaching people how to use what is new technology to them, but what is very out of date technology for us. I just find it so interesting. And I'm so glad that people have like archived all of these instructional videos because I've covered quite a few of them on my channel at this point. I might need to give it its own playlist. However, there is one thing that I will say I hate about doing old, like doing videos about old stuff like this. Um, it's the fact that in the comment section of every single one of these old videos, there's a bunch of people being like, man, America sure was better back in those days, kids these days. And it's like, I get everybody's nostalgic for their own time. Also, I find it very weird when people are like, man, I wish we could go back to the days of women not having rights and only ever featuring white people in film. Like, that's a very weird thing, right? Like, it seems very strange and tone deaf. And I'm not trying to say that to be, like, social justice warrior. I just, I get a little annoyed, especially when, and I'm sure it will happen in this video, older people come into the comments of my videos and uh, try to trash me for not appreciating the olden days. So that's fun. <laughs> and looking at the videos that are being recommended in my sidebar, oh my god, I just, I can't wait to cover more old-timey instructional videos. So if you guys would like to see more of that, please let me know because I totally want more of a reason to talk about them. You know I love old things here. Uh, and I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Everything you do to support this channel means the world to me. If you're new here and you're a fan of nonsense, maybe consider sticking around because I post nonsense all the time. And remember, my name is Avery. I'm a YouTuber if you say so because thanks to you guys, this is technically a YouTube channel. Don't forget to wait for that dial tone before you make your next phone call. Bye. <laughs>